So the boat is here, uh, masked up. She's got a Glomex antenna, double spreader rigs, swiftback spreaders, uh, my ladder. The rudder is all, all nice and solid. It's got a feathering prop, zinc anodes, anodes. It's got a pad cradle. The stripe on this side is nice. There's a little bit of uh, redoing. It's a little bit of sort of stuff here, but that's just a bit of tape actually. And the the uh, keel. He's put some stuff in here, but it's all pretty, all pretty good. There's no sort of nicks or anything. It looks like a, there's a lead keel. He's got a nice Rockna anchor on there. Boat's other woman. You should, should take that out before he puts it back in the water, I think. And yeah, she's, uh, it was at a yacht club. It was really bouncy. That needs to be repainted. Uh, other than that, and they're the, such up on the bottom paint for, uh, for next season. It's in pretty good nick. And the all seems to be in pretty good shape. And let's see if we've got a problem with the keel. And the keel all looks pretty good. Oh, sorry, not keel. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> that's the rudder. I mean, I have to edit that out if I. Uh, this is my first video I'm making of a boat. So bear with me. Okay, I'm going to go up the ladder. So I'm going to have to shut you off. Just be a moment. Okay, so we are, I just came through the walkthrough transom. The seat comes up, there's storage on either side. There is a, a shower, access to your, uh, access to the emergency tiller, emergency pump, engine shut off, a uh, nice large cockpit with some battery, uh, containers and the shelf and whatnot. There's a, a very nice stern rail seats, outboard motor bracket. Looks like the, those have been done quite recently. Uh, then there's propane tanks. He has a autopilot. Very wind. The other two are the, I think the ST40 uh, depth and speed. The, v, uh, the chair power goes up here. That's Wi-Fi apparently. Over here, there is a the escape hatch. There's also ventilation uh, to the berth below. It's got spinnaker winches, working winches, your jib winches, your working winches. All your lines are led led aft. Uh, the struts you now it's difficult to go forward but there's a windlass furling up there midship cleats this leads to a gate of course you have your arch your travelers atop the arch and uh, your helm station just a standard folding wheel your, your cockpit table is here there's more storage more storage here, dock lines and fenders. You've got fenders down here, and once again, uh, place for the emergency tiller, more storage, cleaning devices, winches, and just got running up the side. Uh, he's got an asymmetric spinnaker. Uh, the dinghy doesn't go with the boat, uh, the uh, lazy bag sits on top. The, uh, boom and the uh, hard uh, hard bang now uh, just peak steps going down below and just sort of peruse in here and to the starboard side we have a stove and oven nice uh, deep fridge freezer double sink uh, there's a microwave uh, storage Above the stove, there's storage under the sink, 
storage, uh, pull out storage. There's storage under the uh, under the floorboards. And then looking forward is a nice cockpit. The table makes a double berth. There's a more seating over on this side, over on the start, a port side. Uh, propane controls, light switch, uh, vanity sink with a, uh, it looks like he's got an electric toilet that looks really new. There is a shower, got a hanging locker with some storage in there, nicely done. Some teak lining, an old rack, nice so your, your toilet uh, paper doesn't get uh, wet. Your storage, let's see, your storage behind, it's all nice and cleaned out. A sink, and moving back out. Your galley way, and we have uh, nice bright um, uh, pot lights or port lights uh, on either side, uh, screens, the table as I mentioned drops down, and there's a storage right here, has air conditioning, there's not a lot of light forward, but uh, I do have a light. So he's got cockpit cushions, looks like some sort of table for something or another, and uh, Dodger, Bimini enclosure, stern rail seats, there's storage underneath, there is a hanging locker, uh, the starboard, the port, there's also another hanging locker, access to the through holes, there's a nice, nice uh, neat, a little passway here which is kind of nice so it opens up and you can see you can talk say good night to people just before you go to bed pass some hot chocolate that sort of thing and then the settee to port he's got uh, ample storage there is a uh, flat screen tv we have a barometer and storage uh, the uh, outlets, he's got, looks like an AC control, uh, 12 volt, uh, sorry, 110 panel with a uh, metering system, metering system on these 12 volt DC inverter uh, control or uh, monitoring for the uh, uh, holding tanks, radio, and Pro Mariner, some sort of battery operation uh, uh, monitor, monitoring system. Uh, standard horizon um, uh, VHF and there's a, a there's a, a RAM mic for that as well and there's a Garmin color that one mounts up top and some winches and things and there's there's plenty of storage like th this is quite a big quite a big nav uh, station and Lots of storage in there. So also, there's a storage bin here as well. This is this is a for for garbage, and it, pe people typically put something underneath and uh, garbage bags here. The engine. Now before we do the engine, we'll just grab my light. So it's uh, a nice sized aft cabin with a headboard, a double, or maybe even close to a queen. There is storage, a uh, hanging locker behind uh, this door with storage up above, AC, heating, uh, a nightstand on the side. Uh, over here, there's an access panel to the back. Uh, there's storage panels under here. You can uh, put storage. There's another storage, uh, another storage, uh, whoops. Another storage um, uh, closet in here, and, and uh, under here is your fuel tanks and whatnot. And then just coming out, I'm gonna have a quick look at the engine. It's a three GM diesel. Uh, what's that? A three cylinder engine. A, uh, coolant storage. This looks like it's got some new belts and things on there. Quite standard. 
uh, anti-siphon, I believe. Looks like those are some new hoses. Uh, alternator, uh, water pump. That's all quite, uh, you know, for this year of boat. Um, uh, could do a little bit of cleaning. Uh, down under here, uh, sump pump. Uh, access to uh, through holes for engine and uh, sinks and drains and whatnot. And I mentioned earlier, under the galley there's storage plenty of storage that's an AC uh, pipe going to the back nice storage little cabinet behind here lots of storage in here and as you look down in the head in the uh, in the uh, uh, fridge freezer uh, there's uh, plenty of room for for whatnot some things this is all pretty good some, some, some bags and you have some space there so I'll just do one more those curtains curtains that go all the way around it's this nice whisper soft lining so that comes down you can you can um, uh, access pretty much anything that's under under here under the uh, the uh, uh, culture and uh, I'll just do one more peruse around. We have a nice cockpit or a nice table, a condiments with your compression post looking aft, and there's storage under under these seats. There's batteries under here. There's, uh, these are all all batteries. I think there's a battery charger uh, inverter. I believe there's some. Controls for oops to that. And then one last thing. We have access to the to the bilge and the AC pump. It's got some coolant down there with some uh, several pumps and things. So all all pretty pretty standard and pretty nice and they, they I must say that the that the wood aboard the boat is nothing short of stellar it, it looks it looks great it's not showing you know, all the steps all the wood everywhere it looks uh, in my opinion to be in quite good shape I, 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 I visibly I cannot see any any issues with the wood uh, that, that pop out at me uh, a little, little tiny bit of stuff, but uh, uh, I would, I would, I would, my, in my opinion, that uh, it looks, it looks uh, phenomenal. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this is my first video of a boat like this, and uh, uh, have any questions? Uh, feel free to let me know. I'm more than happy. Uh, this, this table drops down, and just one last thing. Uh, there's an infill cushion that that fills that space so you can actually have two here uh two two in the front and one here so these these actually pop you can actually prop those up and uh make a wider berth if you got to now i don't know if you want to have two four six seven eight was this one two three four five six seven seven people here but uh uh if you'd rather race or something uh might be uh might be a place for to put some people up. Anyway, all the best. Thank you. Hunter, uh, 356-2003, uh, other woman in poor credit.